Hi, I'm Jim Clements, Scoutmaster of Troop 727 in Rancho Santa Margarita, California. And this is a video series on the yucca plant. This video here is about what you can you eat on the yucca. Uh, as you can see, these, these grow pretty wild. You can see there's a couple more in the background over there. Uh, the flower is totally edible. You can eat it in two ways. One, you can uh, harvest it right away and you can eat it. Or you can uh, harvest a whole bunch of it and then a uh, recommendation is to boil it. Uh, it does have subpoena in it, which is a soap making material and you can make soap out of it. So if you eat too much of it raw, you will get a belly ache. It's not gonna kill you, it's like eating soap, I guess. Uh, but it's best if you boil it and then you can prepare it. And then uh, uh, we'll show you that here in a little bit, how to prepare that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and look and f find some of the flowers that are, that are available. And uh, when you go ahead and harvest them, you can pick one off and then you could just want to taste it. If they're sweet, then those are the ones you want to harvest. You don't want to spend too much time, <clears throat> excuse me, harvesting if they're not sweet. Uh, inside the flowers, there's a pestle, pestle, and you want to look for bugs because this one's got some ants and stuff crawling on, on over it. But I can show you here that, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can see that this is a nice specimen of a flower. Uh, inside, you have the pestle, and you don't want to eat that stuff. You just want to eat the, the actual flowers on the outside. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of take a taste of that, rip one off here, and we'll just see if it's kind of sweet. Oh yeah, so this is a good batch. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of these. Um, I have my bag with me to harvest, and we'll go ahead and get going here, and uh, I'll give you a close-up of the stalk as well. So, as we harvest, you can either cut the stalk and take the whole thing back, or I like to just go ahead and just kind of pull off what I want, or what I need because we don't want to leave too much of a footprint on nature. So I'm going to pull some of these off, maybe maybe some of the ones a little higher that haven't opened up so much yet. And just get a good batch here because you know once you start cooking them they're going to shrink a little bit so if you're you know you're looking to make a meal uh, it's you just want to make sure that you have enough. One of the things I like to do with these I'll sit there and boil them to get the, 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 the soap stuff out of it and then I'll bake them or fry them in a frying pan uh, with some garlic, and that's all real tasty. So, so I've harvested quite a few here. I'm not going to do too many because I don't plan on doing a whole meal. This is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and that's my that's my harvest for this. Now, another thing you might want to try is the stalk. Now, the stalk, pretty beefy. Uh, you don't want to cut it all the way down. Uh, with this one is that uh, you're going to put those and you're going to roast those over an open fire. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and cut that stalk down. So I can take it with me. And then I will prepare that once I get back to my camp, which is going to be in my backyard. So this was a good probably 10 pounds. You can see all the bugs flying off it, so you got to really do some good cleaning when you're doing it. So we're going to harvest this. We'll take it back. Um, it's got a little bit of uh, nice nice innards on there, so it'll, it'll be pretty tasty. Okay, stay tuned for the next video and uh, on how to cook this.